everybody, Nancy here from Fancy Nancy Diamond Painting. I have another diamond painting unboxing from you for you. Thank you for joining me. And BB, she's sitting here with her toy. Look, BB, now I got your toy. You want it? This is a cat toy. Yes. BB plays with cat toys because they are small enough for her. And this one, well, it used to make a noise. Doesn't anymore. I think it's time for some new ones. She's got this pretty chewed up. But she loves these little toys. And sometimes if I throw them, she tries to get out ahead of me so she knows where I'm going to throw it. Because she wants to catch it in her mouth like a big dog. She's very funny. She has her own little games, and you have to play according to her rules. All right, I'm just killing time trying to, struggling to get this one open. It's in a very nice box. And interestingly, this came from the same company that my one single new frog came from. So you can see a lot of these companies use the same people to produce. I'm sure there's a limited number of companies that have the printer. Let's see what we got here. Round drills. Oh, this is the elephant that I found. It's kind of a tribute to Megan's elephant. It's blowing bubbles, like iridescent bubbles. I'll put the picture up for you. I thought that was sweet, but I didn't want to do the same one. A lot of people are doing that one now. Um... This is a 40 by 56. It's a good size. Doesn't want to unfold. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay, I'm going to peel it up so that it will lay flat for me. They did not cut the paper. This is from Home Fun. I like this company. Full drill round, and oh my gosh, the the way the colors are mixed in is just beautiful. I like when I see a big area that looks like one color, but when you get up close, it's all confetti. That it really makes the way it look more vibrant um, if you think of the old cartoons where the background was one color I think Winnie the Pooh is a good example of that it's just a different style and it looks flat to me when you start sprinkling in other colors it, it gives it I don't know, it just makes it look more lively to me. So even when I get diamond paintings that have that solid color background, sometimes I sprinkle other colors in. Wow, this is really cute. Let me peel it down so you can see it. What a cute elephant. Sorry, sorry, sorry I'm trying. There you go. Can you see that? He's really cute. And he's, you think elephants are gray, but no, this one's made up of like 10 different colors. There's a lot of colors here. Let me look at the inventory sheet. Oh, I did not do that very well. Always make sure that your canvas is covered properly. Oh, it's really crooked. Really, really crooked. It's because there's all these different little bubbles and things. 
Just take your time. Get it right. You don't want dust and dirt on your canvas. If you smooth out from the center, it helps. There, I got it covered that time. And now it'll lay flat. Whew, don't get me wrong, that's a lot of glurt, a lot of gray. A lot of gray. It doesn't list. Let me count the colors. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 25, 35, 35 colors. And yeah, gray, gray, gray. Oh, there's some bags. But there's little flecks of other colors in there, like a little pink. Little blue. Oh, this is going to be a fun one to do. I really like it. So, I will do the inventory and put it in the notes. Whether they're all present and accounted for. Oh, let me put the inventory sheet back in. I do see that somebody checked off every single number, so that's nice. I like when there's some accountability that somebody looked at it. Okay, I'm gonna do a couple more unboxings today and I'll, I'll release them all one a day. And uh, thank you so much for joining me. If you like my videos, please hit like and subscribe and ring the bell. If you ring the bell, you'll be notified about all my future videos. And I hope you have a great day and happy diamond painting. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.